Hello and welcome. In today's video, we'll dive into the essential process of mooring winch brake testing. Whether you are a maritime enthusiast, a student, or a professional, this video will give you clear understanding of what it is, why it's important, and how it's done. So let's get started. First, let's understand what makes the brake such a crucial part of the winch. The brake ensures that the winch holds the drum and consequently the mooring ropes in position. This keeps the mooring tight and secure. But there is another important feature called rendering. This ensures that under excessive stress the drum slips to release the tension before the mooring rope reaches its breaking point. Essentially, this safety feature prevents the mooring line from snapping under excessive stress. So what exactly is brake rendering? In simple terms, it's the controlled slipping of the brake to release stress on the mooring line before it reaches the minimum braking load or the MBL of the rope. Brake rendering ensures that any excessive tension on the line is relieved before the rope breaks, reducing the risk of dangerous accidents. Next is the brake holding capacity. This is the maximum capacity of the boring winch brake to hold the drum in position under tension. According to OCIMF guidelines, this is set to 60% of ropes minimum braking limit to provide a safety margin. If the tension exceeds this, the brake renders to release the load. Now let's discuss the process of brake rendering test. This test determines the brake rendering capacity of the winch. For this, we use a brake testing kit. A typical kit includes a hydraulic jack with a manometer, lifting arrangements and base support, plates for the setup, volts to fasten the plates to the branch drum. The hydraulic jack simulates the load on the line by applying pressure, producing a torque on the winch drum. Now let's see how this procedure works. So set up the brake testing kit as per manufacturer's instruction. Ensure the hydraulic jack is firmly placed on the ground. Then confirm the pressure gauge on the jack reads zero. Fully tighten the brake on the winch. Gradually apply force using the hydraulic jack. The rendering force can be calculated using this formula. Brake rendering force is equals to F into L divided by R, where F is the force applied by the hydraulic jack. L is the distance from the some drum center to the jack. And R is the distance from drum center to the first rope layer. This test is critical to ensure the mooring system functions are designed maintaining safety and preventing accidents during operations. That's a wrap on mooring winch brake testing. This essential procedure ensures the safety and reliability of your vessel's mooring system. If you find this video helpful, Make sure to like this, share and subscribe to Navigate with Ankit for more maritime educational content. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.